Okay, so this one took a bit longer than I had actually anticipated. Trying to figure out the BLT string and set font pointer calls, which are routines in the mindset ROM BIOS to be able to output a custom font of any size to the screen with, as it turns out, the standard blitter copy routines here. What initially threw me for a loop, if you actually look at the original font data right here, you can see that, uh, well, first of all, we've actually copied it over here from uh, Pac-Man itself over here, and I've transcribed each bit in individually, and I thought initially that the font data was monochrome, and that BLT string was taking care of fanning out each monochrome bit to the appropriate uh, chunky bits uh, to the appropriate uh, palette indices depending on the color palette that, that the particular color you wanted to output. Uh, turns out that is not the case. If you look at the actual font data array that's underneath here, <coughs> you'll see that I have, it's just a bunch of zeros and Fs, uh, and what's happening here is that uh, this data right here is being converted from one bit per pixel into two bits per pixel and uh, basically where the on bit is turned into basically all white for a, given, for a given pixel here. The reason that that is done is literally because uh, if you see the particular call to color right here, that is not actually a color indice, but that's actually, um, that's actually a bit plane mask. That's turned into a 16-bit value where the values are essentially doubled and are used explicitly as the right mask to turn uh, this data into the target bit for the blitter so that you can do colors. So if you want to be able to do all colors for your font, you want to be able to set your uh, font data to white. And so uh, it does mean that you have to make a font specifically for the target bit plane that you're wanting to take and uh, uh, that you're wanting to be able to do. So the end result here, we take all of that, set up the font pointer, and then we set up a text pointer to point to a line of text that we want to be able to print, which in this case is that string right there over and over again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so this is what it looks like over here on the actual hardware. Taking focus for just a moment here. Again, running this on the actual hardware, we see something very much like the following. And as you can see, this is literally doing a single uh, a single blip per interrupt trap. Of course, like every other uh, call in the system, you can have multiple uh, multiple transactions, multiple strings written to the screen. So you could ostensibly have an entire maze written to the screen with dots in a single interrupt call and have it completed in the fraction of a time to paint an entire frame. So um, it's, it's done pretty fast here, but uh, yeah, it took a while to actually get to this point. So, um, yeah, onward and upward.